Alright, what's up guys? And today I'm going to be showing you how to get um Minecraft or Dr. Zox More Creatures mod and custom mod spot. Like, yeah, more creatures mod. <laughs> and so let's get started. First of all, you're just going to start with a clean Minecraft jar. I already did that, so you can go ahead and force update or just delete your dot Minecraft and reinstall it. But anyway, head over to your percent app data percent. Right? Just like that. And you should see roaming. You should go into your roaming folder. You go to dot Minecraft. You go into bin. Your Minecraft jar, this one. Right click. Open with WinRAR. You're gonna have to have WinRAR or a good or archiver program. Like 7-zip, WinRAR, uh, WinZip I think. And just open that up. Mine's running a little bit slow because I'm recording, but uh oh, you wanna go ahead and delete meta inf. Make sure you do delete it or it's gonna have some problems. Problems. Come on. Finally. Alright, MC mods. Come over here. Go into I'm gonna go into Oh yeah, this is for 1.4.2 by the way. I'm gonna go open up Minecraft World Universal. Why is it running so slow? Oh my god. Okay. Don't delete meta inf in here. That's gonna help it run. So you're gonna wanna just select all with control A and drag it into your Minecraft jar folder. Let's go ahead and keep GUI API ready and open. Alright. Just like that. Press that. And this is pretty much done. Alright. If you want to wait the process, you can close this. Blah, blah, blah. <gasps> Finally. There we go. Alright, now we can close that. Uh, open up GUI API. Drag it to the side. Select all of this and put it in there. Sweet, that runs. I'll be back once it's done. Okay, now that it's done, the we can go ahead and launch Minecraft with output. Usually, you have you create the you create the mods folder in the, over here. But right now, I don't feel like doing that because sometimes it doesn't work correctly. And so I stay safe and go ahead and run Minecraft without without um without creating the mods folder so that Minecraft Forge will automatically create it. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. Okay, I'm back. So it's gonna do this validating thing. It's gonna all the Minecraft Forge files and everything into there. And got it in Minecraft, Minecraft launching. Now it should come up, Mojang should come up. There we go. And so now you can see that Minecraft is working with that new mod with Minecraft Forge. And it should. Loading main screen should come up right about now. Now? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So you can see three mods loaded, which is the Forge mod loader, Minecraft Coder Pack, and Minecraft Forge. All both all three of these mods should be loaded. And you just want to click done. And then I can quit game. And now go head back into your percent app data percent into your roaming folder. Just like this. For the second time, come over here, go into dot Minecraft. Now you can see it created all of these folder, well these new folders, and so it already created the mods folder for you. Shouldn't be anything in there. If there is, you can go ahead and delete it. Okay, and now I just want to copy and paste in custom mob spawner in Doctor Zark's Creatures mod. I'm just gonna control click that. And copy it. 
and I will leave. I'll have the link in the de description for all these mods, which just leads you to the forums. And just gonna paste it into there, in both of these, and there we go. So now you just wanna close that, and I'll be back once Minecraft is loaded. All right, Minecraft is loaded, and if I go into the mods folder, it should just say Doctor Zark's Mo Creatures mod. Or, yeah. So now this is loaded. And so if you go into your world and everything, you can play with more creatures. Yes. All right. Please subscribe, like, comment. Tell me if PM me if there's anything, for, like anything that didn't work, and I'll try and help you with it. All right. Well, I guess I'll see y'all later.